Okay, um, hi everyone. Uh, wanted to do kind of a review of what it's like to war game on tabletop sim, uh, which is kind of difficult, and I'll get into that in a minute. Um, now, uh, I should back up a second. Uh, so tabletop sim, uh, it's if you're not familiar with it, which I really wasn't until I, um, until recently. Uh, it just lets you basically play uh, a bunch of different games. People use it mostly, I think, for board gaming and um, role-playing games, Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of thing. Uh, but you can also war game on it, and most of the war gaming is done through these mods that people make just in their own time on Steam Workshop. You can download them. Um, and when it works, like this mod, which is called 633 AD, um, for doing late antiquity, uh, it looks really nice. Um, he gives you, the guy that made this did a good, great job. You know, there's plenty of terrain. Um, I think the, the figures look good. Um, and, uh, I'm also showing this off because this I think I'm teasing this because I've got the Kings of War historic rules. So I'm going to use that for doing another Arab and Byzantine battle, and this time a little bit bigger, um, bigger size. So um, the only thing with this mod, uh, obvious, is the basing. So depending on what rules this, these figures are the mod was built for using it with impetus which i think is fairly popular i don't know that much about it um and the kings of war rules uh most formations it's a frontage of five um figures by three four three two three or four depending on the unit um but we're improvising here, so, um, you know, I'm just not really going to worry about that. Um, and both forces are sort of based up the same way. So anyway, um, so this is what it looks like when it works. And, uh, you know, if you want to do late antiquity uh, and you want to do it on tabletop sim, I think this is a great option. Um, yeah, and some terrain options, um, you get Greek and you can have Arab villages, uh, it gives you some tents, uh, there's Byzantines, Slavs, um, Khazars, anyway, a bunch of different possible armies. Um, so that's what it looks like when it works. Um, and then I was, I've been reading up on, um, Frederick the Great and War of Austrian Succession and the Seven Years War recently uh, and I was looking at miniatures for that which I unfortunately can't really do anything about but I thought okay well I'll see what's on tabletop sim um, and I have downloaded the rules for might and reason and I found that someone made a TTS mod for it and this is what happens when things don't quite work uh, so if you, you see I'm getting all these error messages and what happens is I think a lot of these you know these projects are hobby projects and you know the hosting people forget about them um, you know they don't get hosted anymore so seeing getting all these error messages basically uh, and this one isn't so bad uh, so I think it's basically just like the Officer has this weird uh, thing where it doesn't. He, the officers don't really move, which I maybe for might and reason I need to take a look at the rules again. But I I don't think they necessarily need to move. I'm not sure. Um, and what else? Yeah, so the, this is like the negative or like the null object if something doesn't load correctly. Uh, this, this church doesn't really render properly. Can you pick any of these up? I don't think so. Um, 
I think the figures for this look pretty good. Uh, they're pictures of actual miniatures, and they're rendered. I think some of them are rendered, so they're like basically double-sided. So um, yeah, I think the grenadier, the infantry, is like this. Yeah, so it kind of let's see, zoom. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter what direction they face. Um, I guess you have to use the the leader unit to determine their frontage. Um, I might try and play this one. This looks, I mean, like I said, mostly works. Um, I just have to refresh myself on the might and reason rules. Um, and then this road appears to have the not really working correctly. So this one mostly works. Um, and then... Um, let's go to... And then another issue uh, you can have is um, scaling. So... I was plant, trying to come up with another possible scenario to feature on the channel. Um, so just so I found there's a bunch uh, creator on the workshop made a bunch of these uh, generic black powder maps. Um, and again, there's some issues. Some of these things I don't know what they're supposed to be. They're not really rendering. Um, and then what I was doing. One thing you can do is, so let's go to Black Powder Real Scale. You can search and then you can just, um, let's see if any of that works. You can uh, just add things in. So you can have a map mod and then a different, um, and then a different, uh, different figures you're using. Um, and then, let's see, uh, Janissary Infantry. So, um, I'm not gonna spawn like a full game with this, but um, where did they? So for some reason, with this, the it's not letting me so I have to go back and I have to spawn the stuff in like one at a time kind of so let's move I can move these windows um, grenadiers um, but I'm just going to show the problem is so you have to kind of match if you're doing it this way where you downloaded a mod that's figures and then a map you kind of have to mess with the scaling a bit because um, okay these are one in 300 figures obviously this um, this house is much bigger now you can scale things up but what I've noticed is it kind of distorts the units and then the bases are a lot bigger, in my opinion, than they should be. Um, so I like this mod, this black powder real scale mod, but as you can see, you kind of have a problem. I don't really like the way that this um, looks. And, you know, maybe some of you out there it's not a big deal and it's totally fine um, but for me it's just I don't know let's see if I can yes yeah, so I think that's about right um, but again the fact that the base becomes really big like that I don't really like that um, so I'd have to I'm gonna have to find something that's more appropriately scaled to doing, you know, one in 300. Um, and then let's 
see configuration. Now we want to go to games. Um, just one more. I think. Let's try. I think this one mostly loads, but let's see. And some of these take quite a while to load, so you have to. Um, You have to wait. Um, this is Saga, Age of Crusades. So I might, if I can learn Saga playing this, I might do this. Because this has a nice, gives you a nice... Uh, unit card for everybody gives you the um, this thing for Saga which I, I don't know Saga that well so forgive me uh, gives you the dice I think um, let's see if this one loads Okay, I think this one mostly works, um, so I'm not going to bore you guys waiting for this to uh, load up, but it's out there, um, and I've got a bunch of these different games saved, and I guess my point is, uh, there's a lot of different things out there, um, and you kind of just have to figure out by trial and error, what works and what doesn't. Um, now these look really good, I think, in my opinion. Um, Crusaders, Byzantines. Um, Okay, so this one seems to work. Uh, I'm just not going to let it load all the way. Um, but usually if there's a problem, you get those um, warnings basically immediately. Um, so I think I'll wrap this one up here. Uh, like I said, the point is just you have to go through trial and error um, to figure out what works, what doesn't. And... Um, I think it's a good resource, but um, you know you're not going to find every game you want. You're dependent on you know what people have put put effort into and what people have decided to publish on the Steam Workshop. So um, yeah, uh, I think that's that's about it. And um, I will uh, talk to you all in the next video.